Hi there and welcome to another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales. I'm Jonathan Parker and today we're going to show you this 2006 Sunseeker Portofino 47. I'm going to show you around the boat and all the features this boat has. Now Sunseeker renowned brand for creating really lovely iconic boats and everyone's heard of Sunseeker and this one is a really great example in 2006 what Sunseeker did best. So we're going to show you around, show you all the features and benefits, starting with actually what I'm standing on. Now this is an extended platform, but it's actually a, a hydraulic high-low platform. So if you have a tender on here, it can lower the tender into the water. There's no faffing around with winches and cables and things like that. It just lowers it straight into the water, off you float. When you come back, put it back on, lift it up. Brilliant idea. Um, but if you look at the teak as well, um, the teak's in really nice condition. It's all been brightened up and for the year it's in really good shape and feels really nice, a really nice colour. Um, but if you come to here, there's actually a really nice bathing area on the top. And uh, it has a seat back so you can sit on here, but the seat back actually goes into different positions. Actually, it's fully back position at the moment, but if you wanted to have a bit more lounger space, you simply move it either to this position where you've got a nice backrest, or you can drop it all the way back when the table's removed. Um, but it's really a nice, simple way of just giving yourself a bit more room on the, on the bathing area. But before we go into the cockpit, I actually want to show you the side decks because the side decks on this boat are really wide. Um, now, I'm used to doing fair lines and the actual, the walkway around here is a lot wider than a lot of fair lines and very easy to use. Um, as you can see, these it's all laid to teak all the way up to the side decks. And then you can see how wide these side decks are. And you do get the benefit of handrails as well as you come up. Um, but as you do come up, you can really see the lines of the Sunseeker, beautifully designed. As we come forward, and um, there's actually a cap here, and it's for the water. So you fill the water up in here. And as we come forward, you can see on the front, there's actually another bathing area. So we do have barrel cushions with this boat, and you can see it's a very large bathing area indeed. I'll um, just give you an idea of size, but I'll just lay down. <laughs> would be more comfortable with cushions but as you can see it's a really large area i'm six foot tall and you can see actually very easily you could get someone seven foot tall along here um, but really nice you can tell how thick the cushions are from how deep it is as well um, really cool um, also we've got the anchor up the front the anchor chain stored under here um, but we can operate it up and down from these buttons here as you can see you can also operate it at the helm as well so you can do it there as well but um, but from here um, you've got two options um, but again the side rails are really nice and high and sturdy and this side deck on this side is just as big um, as you come around this side deck though there's another um, cap here this is actually for the waist so for the black water so this boat does have a holding tank and the toilets are actually vacuum flush toilets, so quiet flush toilets, very easy to use. It goes into a holding tank, which you then can pump overboard, or um, you can do it at a, a verified pump out station. Um, but what we'll do now is I'll show you down again, it's got lovely steps down, so you can see either side of this boat, it's very, very easy to get around. Um, but if we look at the gate, the rear gate's really nice, stainless steel gate with Sunseeker embossed into it and it's even got the gold leaf around there really really sexy let me lift this up it's a simple lift and twist and then it locks in position and you can see the teak follows all the way through into the cockpit area um, and then as you come into the cockpit area you can now see there's a there's an outside diner here and you can see the cockpit seating it's a u-shaped seating um, very comfortably fit one, two, three, four, five, six people around this table. Um, the table is, is quite unique in itself. It's a Sunseeker design and it's the way it stows away. So as you can see, it's in a large table position at the moment. You can make it smaller by simply folding it over so you can just have a drinks table. But if you wanted to get rid of it altogether, um, we, we need to just firstly, just lift up the center cushion. and then lift up this seat back 
and then we simply there's a handle just there and we just push it in there's a gas strut just here to make it easy to become in and out but just using that handle and it will just stow away completely drop that down and pop that back in there and now the table is completely out of your way it just gives you a much more feeling of space um, as you can see there's a couple of storage little compartments there there's a storage area under here as well um, and now i can just show you the seat back as it comes all the way back now to this lounging position just have to jostle around with that and there we go and then it's one large bathing area now so a very versatile cockpit um, but it's also got a galley and then um, we've got two storage cupboards um, the battery switches are in the cupboard here um, as well as the shutoffs for fuel um, there is a control panel here um, for low level lights so if i turn that on you can see So once that's on, and I'll press this low level button here, if you look just around the cockpit base, you can see the little low level lights just come on. I'll turn them on and off to show you. Um, but we also can control the hydraulic platform from here as well. Um, it has buttons for a passerelle, but there is no passerelle fitted on this boat. Um, but as we come round into the galley area, and there's a nice work surface here, um, marble effect, and then We've got a lovely twin Smev hob and this will work out at sea as well because this boat was also finished with a generator um, so everything electrical on board can work at sea and there's also a sink with hot and cold water as well. A lot of wet bars only have cold but this has hot and cold um, so a very nice useful piece of um, kit there. So let me just walk you through um, there's one more thing I want to show you in the galley area. Galley's not complete without a fridge, so it has a top loading fridge in here as well. So we'll see a few drinks in there. Um, and just below there, it looks like there's a sub for the music system. Um, so there's a sub there, I can see two more speakers on the sides of the roof. So one this side and one behind you, just there. There's loads of lights in the roof as well. I'm mean, counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights in the roof. And there's two more speakers forward here as well. So there's a lot of speakerage, if that's even a word. I don't know if that's a word. Um, but as we lead round, um, that's the helm area, but I just want to show you this seating first because this is a bit of additional seating, but also forward facing seating when we're going along. Um, and you can actually get three people um, just sat um, on this U shaped seating. So when you are using the helm, you can actually still be quite sociable with your friends. Uh, it's a double helm as well. Um, there is a little bit of storage here, um, it's quite nice. Uh, Again, on a gas strut, a couple of cup holders. Um, but all very nice. The upholstery as well, it looks original to me, but it's in lovely condition. You know, it's, it's a real testament to how well kept this boat is. And we get that feeling of um, the boat being looked after all the way through this boat. It feels like a very new boat. It doesn't feel like a 2006 boat at all. Um, it's so clean and well kept. Everything is polished and, and tidy. It's a very, very good boat. So let's just swing around to the helm. Um, as you can see, the twin helm now. I'll just swap with you, Rebecca. So Rebecca is helping me today with the filming. Um, and it has a bolster. So the bolster you simply pull and raise. And that gives you then the opportunity to be able to stand at the helm. And, um, and then you can pop your head out the roof and have a bit more of a field of view especially if you're maneuvering or somewhere where there's a lot of traffic and um, just give you that confidence um, the actual helm position though when you sat down is actually fairly good if you've got these large windows either side you've got the double windscreen in front 
Um, so I actually quite like it. The only downside is obviously with the hard top is when the sun is in your eyes like it is now, is actually you get a lot of, a bit of glare off the screen there. So that gives you that opportunity then to stick your head out, just gives you a bit more confidence. Um, and you get that with any hard top sports boat. Um, but uh, most of the time it's absolutely brilliant. I love a hard top sports boat from the point of view that if the weather changes, um, if it is too sunny, um, you don't have to faff around with all the covers. You simply press. Oh, hang on, that's the side window. Oh, but we do have a side window as well. <laughs> I didn't plan to press that button, but we do have an opening side window. And then next to it is the close roof button. And as we close it, you can see there's actually windows in it as well. So when it is shut, you still get the light come through. And it's a very large roof as well. So you get a real feeling of openness when it is um, fully open. But as soon as you shut it, you feel a bit more, it just feels a bit more protected, which of course it is, um, and very simple to do. And it just leaves the back of the boat open. Um, so um, from what is not original on here, if we look at the helm position, um, the actual um, chart plotter has been replaced in recent times with a hybrid touch chart plotter um, and a Ring Marine I-70 has been fitted as well, just on the left hand side, which gives you various different options um, including um, AIS options um, as well as positioning, um, as well as um, you can make it obviously do engine um, readings as well if you wish. And whether it's connected to the engine, I don't know, but there is, an, a, there is a facility that Volvo does provide that you can do that. Um, the, the chart plot is all touchscreen, and we do have radar on here um, as well, um, as well as I'm hoping, no, we just have normal depth. There is no fish finder, um, but we do have radar because I've seen it on the top. Um, so we'll tap that one. Yep, so we've got radar on here. Um, and well as we've got normal sharp plotter as well. Um, the helm, um, the engine controls are electronic. So electronic controls, this um, is fitted with Volvo Penta, so twin Volvo Penta D9 575 engines. Um, very nice, modern, um, quiet in comparison to the older engines that would be fitted in a boat like this. And of course, less smoke, smoother and more efficient. So a good engine option for this size of boat. Um, and you can see the controls, they all sort of mimic each other. So this is a Sunseeker feature. They've designed these controls so everything is done just on soft touch buttons. Um, and we've also got a autopilot fitted. The autopilot head looks quite original, um, but again, it's, it seems to be in good working order. Um, so that is the helm position, but I think a lot of you now probably want to go and see the interior. So I think we're going to head down there now. Um, so I'm going to take my shoes off because the interior is beautiful. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can see where I'm going. And first of all though, I just want to show you the walk down. It's a very wide door and it's so easy to open and shut just with one finger. So often these doors can be very stiff to open, but it's very easy to open. Um, and then going down, it's just one, two, three, four steps very easy to go up and down and again these are laid to teak as well um, but as you come down into the saloon area the first thing that hits me is how cold it is down here because this boat has air conditioning so we are having a heat wave at the moment and i'm so glad we've come down here now because it's 30 degrees up there down here it's now 20 because we've got the air conditioning control here, which tells us what the temperature is. And we've already reduced the temperature down 10 degrees to 20 degrees, and um, where we can control how far we want it to go. So I've only got it set to sort of 19 anyway. Um, so, but, but it feels really cool. Um, the actual vents up here, so we've got nice cold air coming out of the vent just up here. Um, but as you can see, there's a lovely seating area down here. So don't forget we've got the cockpit seating area and all the seating out there because this is a hard top boat so you can use the outside like the inside as well if you wish but you have this additional lovely curve curve space the table leaves open out and you can see they're just lovely design all your controls for all your 
electronics and electrics are neatly stored just behind this door. Everything's in here you need to get to, um, including the black water pump out, including the generator operation. And it's a mix of 24 volt and 12 volt systems. 12 volt operation switches at the top, 240 volt operation switches at the bottom. And then, sorry, we've got a 24 volt and 12 volt up here. And then we just have voltages monitored. And very nice, simple system, everything's together. Um, so that's a very good access to everything. Um, it's got nice portholes with nice blinds that drop down. Good amount of storage all the way around. Um, but also we've got a lovely um, entertainment system. So we've got the television just neatly stowed. There we go, and there's a Bose um, system underneath with speakers. And there's a drawer underneath, and what's in there? Probably to put your, yeah, put your DVDs and uh, your bits and pieces. Um, but as we swing round, we then go into the main galley. And the main galley, first of all, lots of top cupboards in. It's got this lovely satin finish. It's not a high gloss cherry finish, which you've seen a lot of these boats. And the satin finish is still used now. So it's still a very modern wooden finish. I think it's a walnut. So I think it's a very satin walnut. Um, but the beauty of Sunseeker, they do lots of nice touches. So I don't normally go in cupboards because they're normally rammed. But as you can see, it's got lovely storage for plates. I don't know about you, storing plates is always a bit of a pain on boats. Um, it's got a storage for cups, but it's got these little plastic bits that stop things sliding around. Um, it's very cool. And again, we've got a bit of a larger storage, but again, we've got these plastic things that just stop bits sliding around. Um, what I also want to show you though, is this, this drawer here, isn't it, Rebecca? Yes, look at this. So we've still got the original cutlery supplied by Sunseeker. So this would have been an option um, originally, but you can see what a lovely finish. And it's, so it's again, it's stainless with the gold flush. It's like the leaves on the door as you come in, and um, they've got it on here. You can see everything's neatly stowed away. I don't think that's original, but that's quite cool. It's a snap-on bottle opener. So it's half a spanner and then a bottle opener. That's really cool. I don't know if that's, I don't think that's probably going to go with it. So I might have that. <laughs> um, but again, just more storage. Um, there's actually this top one is a microwave. Look at that, quite a large one as well. So a large microwave. Um, and of course, another large fridge with a fridge freezer as well. Oh, oh put the door back on. It just clips back in. That's it. So that for the freezer. And, and in here, this is um, for bin. It's a neatly stowed away bin. Very nice. And again, we've got these lovely blinds. Right, the galley over the woods, uh, the floor is actually laid to wood with a nice finished carpet next to it for the saloon. So again, really nice condition. Um, a couple more storage cupboards as well, just here. Um, but what I wanted to do now is just show you through this door because this is the aft cabin, which you would normally suspect would be you know, the children's one, the, the one that you people would least want to use. But as you come down through here, um, you step down and there's a full size wardrobe, so with double doors. And then we step down again into a beautiful twin bed area. And again, we've got air conditioning in here as well. And I can actually feel it again. It's lovely and cool in here. Lovely sized twin beds. Um, and again, I'm six foot, but very comfortable. And I, this would be my one. And the reason why is because there's a television at the end of the bed. Um, so very, very comfortable place to be. Um, there's, a, there's actually a mains plug there, as well as we can control the lights on and off as we wish. Um, it's a bit of storage under here as well. And uh, I'm sure there's probably more bits and pieces under here there always normally is yeah a bit of storage under there which is cool and also access down into more of the bilges um, and again they've even bothered painting all of this in a nice dark gray drawer under here there's a drawer under the other side as well there's actually three drawers in here they're just adding to the space 
Um, but what you get in the 47, if you want to, let, let me take that off you because I find it hard. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, as you can see, there's a door. If you go through the door, look at that. A full size shower, um, heads, sink, and as you can see, mirrors with storage within and another lovely blind. Um, storage, yeah, loads of cupboard storage, quite deep as well. Really good. And then as we walk out, back out the door, back into the main saloon, and I'll pass you back to Rebecca. Where are you? There you are, thank you. Follow me through, and then obviously we'll go through to the second heads. Okay, keep up. <laughs> As we go, look, you've got the island beds, and again, it's a lovely size actually, quite square. Um, some boats are quite rounded at the end. This is a nice square one. Um, and again, really nice size. Um, there's a second air conditioning unit with the boat as well, and it's fitted into just for this front cabin. You um, can control it just on the side of the bed here. Um, but again, I'd choose this side of the bed because it's got the television. Now there you can see it in the mirror, but the television's there, again, another television. So there's three televisions on the boat as well, one for each cabin and for the main saloon. Um, and you can see it's got lovely mirrors at the back, um, skylight at the top, um, you can make it um, uncover if you wish, um, but it's actually closed off at the moment, just for a bit more privacy. And again, we've got lovely, um, nice finished curtains either side and storage all around. Um, there's also gonna be storage under the bed, as well as there's drawers at the front of the bed as well. All in all, it's actually a nice, it's a lovely size front cabin as well. Um, but again, um, if I take that off you, Rebecca, because we won't all fit in there. There's the main heads. Again, it looks very similar to the other one, another full size shower. Um, so just to show you the showers, there's not a curtain or anything, they're both the same, but it's a wraparound door. So you can see it's actually a proper enclosure that you get into and still access to the toilet and the sink and of course the storage as well. And there's also a towel wrap with mirror above. Um, on this side, there's another towel rail. And then of course you've got the taps. Um, very good, and more storage underneath. And again, the wood finish in the floor. And that wood finish does go throughout and um, when it's not carpet, so very nice. And um, so back into the saloon. Say hello, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Rebecca's been doing the filming, as I said earlier. Should we go and look at the engines? Do you want to do that or should I do it? <laughs> All right, follow me out. We'll go back out. Just on the way out as well, I just want to draw your attention to the Fusion head unit. So it's a replacement for the original Kenwood system. Um, so it's a good modern addition. Um, but engine access is actually surprisingly easy. And it's so clean down there, I'm not even going to take me, put my shoes on. But centre access, and then there's a ladder. And I'm just going to find myself down here. Um, and yeah, I've got the light switch on. Actually, let me drop down. Thank you. Thank you again, Rebecca. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to give you a quick buzz around the engine room. So these are Volvo Penta D9 575 horsepower engines. Um, if the generator, as you can see, is fitted in the centre. It's quite a large generator. Um, never really says on them exactly what it is. I'll confirm, but it's either going to be a, a six and a half or an eight. Um, but this does have air conditioning, so I'm assuming it's going to be an eight. Um, but everything, even from like engine mounts, are even nice and shiny. The bilges look lovely and clean. Everything is just lovely and clean about this boat. And the engines themselves are lovely and clean, very well looked after. Um, you can see there's lighting all around. And there's even a water supply for wash down in here. And um, you can see the fire extinguisher as well. It's an automatic one um, with helm indicator as well. Um, and then on the other side of the engine room, you can see the battery, the battery chargers on monitoring away. Um, access to fuses and panels and um, bilge pump. But all in all, this just feels lovely condition. Um, it's just so well looked after. Um, the D9575s are a great engine. Um, these are fitted, they're on shaft drives, um, but they're what we call... Um, 
to sort of reverse drive. So the engines are actually fitted. So the, so the front of the engine is to the stern and the gearbox is to the forward. And then it, the gearbox reverses the, the actual shaft. So the shaft actually exits the boat underneath the engine. And then what allows is for a more compact design. So it basically takes up less room on the boat. And um, when doing that, so we don't have a shaft sticking out the back of the engine, which then extends out, it's all compacted to the to the actual um, size of the engine. It's a really clever way of doing it to save space on the boat. And you can really feel that on the boat itself. So I'm gonna pop out of here now, up, up the ladder, and it's got two aluminum fuel tanks. Um, they're 660 liters each. Um, and again, they're, they extend all the way to us. So they're not actually very deep, look, you can see they're not very deep. Um, but they're very tall and quite wide. Um, they'll have baffles in them as well, um, but very neatly positioned fuel tanks. Right, let's pop back up. Um, so I think that's about it, isn't it, Rebecca? It is. Thank you for joining us on another presentation from Parker Adams Boat Sales. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like any more information on this boat. Do have a look at our website parker-adams.co.uk or always call us. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.